Hello, hello. Happy Sippin' Saturday. Oh my gosh. Such a good day. It's been a beautiful, wonderful day, even though it's like kind of gray here in LA. Um, just so much fun. So much. I got to connect with some amazing people. I got to see some of my wine team. Um, I had Reiki, um, Embody Reiki School and Master the Brain Game this morning. And so that was phenomenal. Um, I had a lot of good stuff going on. So let me know what's going on in your world this Saturday. Uh, I am actually going to make sure that we are sharing this information in all of the places. And I invite you to do the same. There's so much excitement happening and so many announcements and fun things I want to share with you. Uh, some I have to wait a little bit, but like that's why you need to make sure that your notifications are turned on, you're subscribed in all of the places so you can get the up to dates on all the things and all the right times. So let me make sure that this is shared out. And as I said, I invite you to share as well. Um, tag your friends have some fun, all that good stuff. Hey, boo. Um, make sure that if you are watching this like as a live stream um, that you've given StreamYard permission so I can see who you are and what your name is because otherwise I see Facebook user. And although I appreciate all of that, <laughs> I still want to see your name so I can give you a shout out. So let's get down to business. There we go. That's where I want to do that. All right, let's talk about it. So today we're going to do, first we're going to do a January unboxing. Um, uh, if you are not familiar or um, don't know who I am, I'm Tiara, aka T, the wine diva. And what I love to do is I love to bring so much more fun and joy and lightness into your life. And one of those avenues is by sharing wine and food and just deliciousness with you. And um, I have actually been under the weather the last couple of weeks. And so I have kind of been like taking a step back, taking care of me, self-reflecting, all sorts of stuff. And in this reflection time, which has been just like a spiritual awakening and just amazing shifts and like resets of the mind, um, I have come up with some really fun things for you. And um, you have to be on the lookout for that. So like I said earlier, turn on those notifications, make sure you're in all the groups, you're subscribed to the YouTube, the podcast, the, all of the stuff, all of that jazz. Um, so you make sure that you can get all of the good things, right? So we're going to do a little unboxing of some wine, and then um, I might share a little bit of what I've got planned coming up for the rest of 2021 and all sorts of goodness. So does that sound good to you? Let me know. All right. So let's first open this box. So this is my monthly wine club. Now, it typically arrives like earlier in the month. And like I said, I've been under the weather, so I just really have not been feeling one, I haven't really felt like drinking any alcohol. I don't think I, yesterday was the first time I had a glass of anything um, since before, since like the New, New Year's Day, actually. Um, so I've been sick for a while. <laughs> so um, I'm excited to like crack this open. I kind of have already forgotten what's in the box, but that's okay. So many good things. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. So this monthly wine club box, let me know if you can hear me as I'm like turning my face away from the microphone. Um, this is something that shows up every single month and I get the four bottle half and half, which means that I get the opportunity to try all the things that we've released for the month. So every month we release four new wines and um, yeah, so this is this month's wines. All right, let's put all the things away. So it comes with like all these fun little flyers so you can have a reminder of like what the benefits of being a wine club member are. Uh, if you are interested in looking into becoming a wine club member, there should be a link in the description of this video to my link tree, which will give you access to like my website so you can find the wine club. Also access to like subscribing to the YouTube channel and subscribing to the podcast and all that jazz. So you have access to all the things. Um, but yes, yeah, so this little sheet will give you, <laughs> Stacey says, love my wine box. Yes, girl. Um, 
a little list of like all of the fun things that come with being a wine club member from uh, discounts and savings on wine, which honestly, if you've ever been a member of any wine club, you realize that aside from like going to the winery itself and doing a tasting, it is the most economical way to explore different wines. And with us right now being under quarantine and like these certain experiences aren't regularly happen happening as much as they used to, you know, the best way to get things and the most, the safest way to get things is having them shipped to you, right? And so this wine club, four new wines shipped to your home every week, which is awesome. Every week, whew, that's a little much. Every month, <laughs> I take that back. Um, and you get to just explore. And what I love about the exploring, I feel like life is all about exploring. It's all about experiences, yes? We have to experience different things so we know, yes, I wanna do that. I need to experience travel to know that I like travel. I need to experience kayaking to know whether or not I like kayaking. So this opportunity to experience things that interest us. So if you're interested in wine and you're like, I don't know what I like, or maybe I know what I like, but I'm open to trying new things, this is the way to do it, okay? Hello, beautiful Melissa, how are you? All right, so. <clears throat> we've got, they come with all these cards. So it takes the the guesswork out of what do you, what do I pair with it? Cause that's like the number one question I get is like, okay, I have this bottle of wine and I want to have it with food and I, but I don't know what I want to pair it with. And why is that so important? And really honestly, like at the end of the day, if you like wine, if you like food and you want to put them together, like go for it, knock yourself out. But I will say that it does elevate the experience when you have a perfect pair. It's like, you know, like you can have a good time with like your, your so-so friend or, or, you know, the coworker or whatever, like if you're going out to a club or something, <laughs> imagine this is like 2019 and we're allowed to do that. So like, you're going to the club, you could either choose to go with a coworker you don't really know very well and you can have an all right time and it's cool, but you would have way more fun if you went with like your best friend because you know what music you like. You might even have like dances to certain songs. If you're like me, we probably we have choreographed dances. <laughs> things and so like you can totally um it just is an elevated experience does that make sense so that's the same thing about food pairing like you can have a good time without it being like the perfect pairing but if you want to like have it a little bit better if you want to just take it to the next level that's where all of that good stuff comes in so all of our wines come with a nice little card that gives you like an overview of the actual wine itself and then it gives you an a, like you know is it dry is it sweet what should you serve it chilled? Should you serve it at room temperature? Uh, as well as a pairing recipe that goes on the back, as as well as some little like other ideas for pairings, like quick little tidbits or little little nips and appetizer kind of things. Um, <laughs> Stacy says, so your beautiful lipstick makes me want to pour a glass of Cookie Cellars Red Velvet. Yes, I love it. I actually haven't tried the Red Velvet and I'm gonna hold on to it because we have a winemaker tasting on the, I believe it's the ninth. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, if somebody knows the actual date, but um, there's going to be a post in the virtual wine tasting room later today that'll have the dates because we have a winemaker tasting and a cocktails class for the month of February. Uh, so make sure that you're in the virtual wine tasting room or you're following me on stories to see like information on how to join all of that goodness. Uh, but the Cookie Cellars Red Velvet is definitely going to be a featured wine for the month of February. And in the past, the Cookie Cellars brand as a whole sells out like super quick and it's like super delicious and so fun. So I'm just holding on to mine so I can uh, have it for, for a little tasting situation. Um, <laughs> if you had a box wine, that would be amazing. Now, without going into like my, my wine snobbery self, I do like, I used to drink box wine like nobody's business, honey. Um, but I have found that since I've changed what I do, it's like the same thing of like, if, if you've ever cut sugar out of your diet and then you go back to like having sugar and like, it can seem like extra sweet than what you remembered it's the same idea so like when you change the quality of the things that you that you consume uh once you elevate that quality then sometimes you can't really go back without like feeling it in your body and that's how it goes for me muscadine wine is our favorite Ooh, muscadine is delicious uh yes yes all right let's let's see what's in this box shall we <laughs> So we're going to start off with the white wines and what white wines we have. 
<laughs> tell your husband this. What do I got to tell your husband, Melissa? What do I got to tell him? <laughs> tell him? Tell him that box wine is not necessarily the best for your body. Now, I can't, I don't want to speak in like, like a full generality, but typically in my experience, the wines that come in a box wine, they are mass produced. So anything that, that we know of, when we think of the things that we put in our body, um, that are mass produced, typically they're not like the best things, right? You know, when we talk about like, are we eating organic versus are we eating just like what I call like junk food, vegetables or junk food, junk food, processed stuff. Has it been processed or is it as like clean and close to God as it possibly can be? And the same goes for wine. Not all wine is alike. Not only in the sense that like there are different varietals and different like actual types of grapes and different flavor profiles, but quality wise, it's not all the same. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we first are going to pull out, we've got the 2018 California Viognier, the Homage Cellars brand. Um, this is actually a, a rebrand. So some of you that have been with me for a while may remember Homage Cellars. I don't think we've had a bottle in like two or three years, but it used to be like a more colorful, I think it's like a similar picture, but it was in color. I might have a bottle back there, but I did. I should have pulled one out to see if I did, but it is okay. Um, and so we have Viognier, which I'm from Virginia and Viognier is actually a really, really, really popular grape in Virginia. My perspective of it is it's like, if you like Chardonnay, cause it's got like, it's got a little bit of that, that unctuousness that Chardonnay has. It has a little bit more weight. It's a more weighty white wine, but it's not as like bold as like an oaky Chardonnay. It still, it has some like tropical notes to it and all that good stuff. But let me look at this card and see what kind of notes present for this. So we've got a 2018, 100% Viognier from California. We know how to party. Uh, and it is like on the off dry, right in the middle, right in the middle of the sweetness. So you're going to have some dry characteristics as well as some sweeter characteristics. It is going to give you some like aromas of honeysuckle, citrus, stone fruit, like apricot, um, ooh, plantain and peach. So it's going to have some just like bright, um, wonderful flavors, which is, I'm super excited to give this a try. Uh, there is a small amount of sweetness in this wine, but it's not the main feature, which I like. I like things. I like, I like it to be well balanced. That's what I think is a, like the sign of a really, really good wine. If you have a sweet wine, it should be intentionally sweet by the winemaker. And dry wines are great, but I typically want to have a dry wine with food. I want to pair it with something so it balances it out in, in, in the mouth, right? But if you're just like sitting to drink, well, like a balanced structure is what I'm looking for. So this sounds like a perfect sit on the balcony, uh, sipping some white wine and just having wine at the time. <laughs> um, you've had it and it's delicious. I don't know who you are. If you give StreamYard permission, I will be able to see your name, but I am glad that someone's tried it and they love it. Oh, uh, apricot does sound amazing. So good. And it's paired with uh, chana masala with paneer. Lovely. Mm. And I'm loving that we're starting to have a lot more vegetarian dishes show up in our... Uh, in our like recipes, which is amazing. And then you can go to winedivatr.com and have access to like, that's my website, but in the lifestyle section, there's a bunch of stuff where the recipes are. So if you just want to like check out the recipes that we, that I'm already showcasing, you can find them over there. So that's the Viognier. What else do we have? We're going to have a 2019 Pinot Grigio. And I love Pinot Grigio. Like, again, it is like, it is just light and refreshing for me. So I think of it like it's not as Sauvignon Blanc, I say, is like the lemonade of, of wine because it has really bright citrus notes and it's pretty powerful. And, and it does have a little a lot of acidity and like acid kind of feel in the mouth. So that's where I like like it's like a an unsweetened <laughs> lemonade is how I think of Sauvignon Blanc, where I think Pinot Grigio is a softer version of that. So Pinot Grigio is a lot lighter. And I love Pinot Grigio when it's warm outside and you're just like sitting by the pool um, or you're just like, you know, sitting by like just outdoors in general, just under the sun and you want something crisp and refreshing to sip on. So that's what I like to <laughs> Melissa says recipes. You know, I love to. Cook. Yes, I know you love to cook, girlfriend. 
All right, so this is going to be a dry Pinot Grigio, 13.5% alcohol. Okay. Uh, it is going to give you some notes of orange zest, green apple, citrus, cantaloupe. Uh, it is just Stainless steel fermented and provides clean lines and soft, lengthy finish. I love it. I love it. Paired well with a grilled ahi tuna, roasted chicken, grilled cheese. Yes, grilled cheese. Crab cakes. Speaking my language, my body craves seafood all day, every day. I love seafood. Steamed clams, goat cheese, fontina. Uh, the pairing recipe is an Italian sesame goat cheese salad, which I actually posted this recipe in the co-op, which is another community that I'm a part of. And I do believe uh, the link to the co-op is also in my link tree. If you're not already a member of that amazing community, not only am I a leader within that community, but I, there are so many phenomenal people. So like you've seen that I do like tarot and I'm into spiritual stuff. So you can totally tap into a lot of more of that information over in the co-op and check all of that out as well. Yes, exactly. Melissa, it does pair well with fish. This is like, like I could see sitting on my balcony with like a plate of like some shrimp and like some shrimp, like cocktail sauce and just sip and like eat and just like do a little dance. Cause I do a little dance when I eat sometimes. <laughs> and that's just how I live my life. Hey cat. How are you? Hey girl. Hey. All right. Who's ready for some red wine? Yes. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Sipping Saturday. Let's move on over to that. I was like, oh, I'm going to take a sip of water while I'm doing it. But um, your girl left her water way too far away. So that's not happening. So we're just going to have to push through with a dry mouth. And that's going to be fine. <laughs> Melissa is coming. Come on over, girlfriend. Come on over. Mm, yes. You know, there is plenty of wine to share over here. I think there is well over 250 bottles at, at this point. <laughs> Red time. All right. So let's see. What am I going to grab first? What's coming into my hand? We've got a 2019 Lodi Petite Syrah. I just love, like, black and white is just such a classic, clean marketing color. I, I, I love it. I love it. It's just so clean and fun. Um, grab the wrong card. So Petite Syrah is, like, a new varietal of mine that I, like, really, really enjoy. Uh, definitely something that I love to have with food um it's just it's just delightful it's so it makes me happy it makes me happy when skies are gray so it is going to be a dry wine and you can age it for four to five years so if that's like your thing um we could talk a little bit about aging if you're not familiar with it so some wines are really like the manufacturer the winemaker um they intend it to be drank like right now and then there are some wines that while you can totally drink it right now when you when you purchase it uh, once it's in the bottle like it's bottled and being sold of course it's able to be enjoyed at this moment but there are some that will that have so much structure to them that if you give them a couple of years just like laying on their side and in a here i'm turning the wrong direction <laughs> uh, on a wine rack in like the um in a wine fridge or wine cellar whatever you have under your bed is also a good option because it's cool and dark and the temperature doesn't regularly fluctuate. So like you want to keep it on its side, especially if it has a cork on it and just let it, let it rest and let it kind of mature. So sometimes when a wine is released, it might be what we call young. So it's kind of just, it's, it's like in its party stage, you know, it's got some like fruitiness to it. Um, it might have what we could say tightness. Like it's, it's, a little more tart when you try it but then if you like give it a year give it two give it five years it's matured right so like it's out of its 20s it's into its 30s it knows what it really wants out of life and <laughs> And it's like, it's now expressing itself in a whole new light and a whole new way. And it's, it's talking to you with like multiple layers. So it's not just fruity. It's got some like leather characteristics or vanilla and, and that like kind of harsh edges of like tartness has kind of been mild out and the tannins have kind of like loosened up and it's just become more luscious over time. So that's kind of what you think about it when you're, when you're aging your wine. I hope that I'm not like that. <laughs> Uh, Melissa says it needs to age. Is it a dark red? I would have to open the bottle to know how dark it is. 
but according to the card, it is a, a deep dark red color. Uh, so I'm excited to see that when I open this uh, this bottle. So it is Calif California Petite Syrah, 14% uh, alcohol. So it's got it's got some alcohol in it. Uh, it. It would go well with beef tenderloin, game meat, roasted turkey, mushroom bites, uh, a duck pate, sharp cheddar, and Colby cheese. You're gonna get notes of like blackberry, raspberry, black currant, and uh, that comes like directly from the, the grapes. It's also been oak aged. It looks like so. There's gonna be um, like the leather, the vanilla, those kind of things that I talked about a little bit earlier. So we've got a roasted turkey with smoked paprika as the paired recipe for this wine, which sounds awesome. So you could totally let it age a little bit and like let it age until uh, November and have it for Thanksgiving if you really want it to. Or you can, like today seems like a good day to actually enjoy it for me because it is cloudy and gray and 52 degrees here in Los Angeles. So it is definitely a red wine kind of day today. So Petit Syrah. And then the final wine of the evening, of the afternoon, of the whatever time you're watching this video um, or listening to the podcast and all of that goodness. You thought I was going to say jazz again. I was like, I think I've said jazz, all that jazz like at least 15 times <laughs> today. So maybe I'll, I'll check something out. <laughs> Ooh, it's um it's very dark and beautiful like ink is what Stacy says. Oh yeah, so Stacy's had it. What did you think about it, Stacy? Mm. <laughs> uh, Melissa says it's just take a sip on take a sip for me to party. Ooh, okay, I will I will take a sip for you. When I when I pour a glass, I'll be like, mm, Melissa, feel this, be with me, connect with me in this moment, and, and you can taste it with me. <laughs> All right, so we have the last wine of, that I'm going to be showcasing, which is the Homage Cellars 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, another fun feature that we are starting to put on a lot of our stuff is whether or not we're, we're trying really hard to work with wine, vineyards that are, are doing the utmost to take care of, of the environment. So this wine is got it's sustainably grown mark on it. So something to talk a little bit about in terms of like winemaking process and quality. So like it takes a whole lot for a winery to get certified organic, a lot of money, a lot of resources and a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. But it's super awesome when you're able to have that label. We do not have that label, but in terms of being able to say that we're, we're working with sustainably growing vineyards is super, super, super amazing and super important. I, I think it's awesome because it shows that they're taking care of the vineyard itself. And it all starts with the grape in terms of the whole winemaking process. There are so many things that can like have cut corners during the whole getting it from the vine to the bottle. And I love that when you, you start with like great quality from the beginning and you know and trust that the process is going to be nothing but short of amazing, like then you know you're gonna have a beautiful artisan high quality wine. And I know Alex who is our winemaker is just phenomenal in what he does in like at the winery. So just knowing and trusting that where we harvest our grapes from is also doing its utmost to give back into the environment and doing things like hawking, which um, is a way to get rid of rodents and, and pest within the vineyard, but not throwing pesticides down and putting chemicals on the grapes. So things like that, it really just elevates that quality and elevates the like the knowledge of being able to make sure that what we're putting in our bodies is like of the utmost awesomeness. <laughs> uh, Stacy says that the uh, Petite Syrah is wonderful. It's rustic, which she likes and edgy. So others may prefer it decanted. Ooh, ooh, that's a good note. So on going back to like the aging process as well, another way to kind of have a similar effect and get, make it mature kind of in like, in, in a more timely fashion is by decanting it or using an aerator. So it helps to add some oxygen to that wine so it can open up and it can mature in your glass for you. 
<laughs> yes, I am a jazzy girl, Melissa. I love it. All right. So the 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon is from the Lodi region of California. It's 14.5% alcohol. You're going to get notes of cherry, plum, raspberry, cranberry, blackberry, all the berries. I love it. Creamy vanilla, leather, tobacco. Yes. It sounds like my kind of wine. This is like Jay doesn't get a sip of it kind of wine. <laughs> it is all me all day. I love it. Um, this is de definitely sounds like something I could just sip on all day and finish the whole bottle by myself. Like no lies. Uh, you're going to get, Oh, you can age it for six years. It is definitely going to be dry. You can pair it well with ribeye steak, uh, roasted Cornish hen, hamburgers, grilled pork chops, sliders, camembert, cheddar cheese. The recipe is a rosemary pork tenderloin on a bed of spinach, roasted red peppers, and prosciutto. Yes, mm, that sounds amazing. So good. I love it. Oh, and it sounded like such a complicated recipe, but it says a 15 minute prep time and a 25 minute cook time. So like that, that's my kind of cooking. Easy peasy. Throw it in the oven once you prep it. I love it. Beautiful just beautiful so let me know if you have any questions about any of the wines the wine club as a whole um just shopping for wine in general i'm happy to help but i also wanted to like kind of give you an update on some things so i am looking for i've been working with some amazing amazing people like i said uh i am one of the leaders in the co-op and the co-op is a fantastic facebook group of just amazing amazing people we talk about healing we talk about energy uh there are people that do tarot and oracle readings in there uh, people that do eft tapping in there uh, reiki sessions numerology so much awesomeness and i love it i love it i love it i love it and um so over there is where I'm going to be focusing a lot of my free content in terms of Facebook outside of like, you know, doing my podcast and doing uh, the YouTube channel. So if you're not following Wine About It with Wine Diva Tierra, I recommend you doing that. That's both the name of my podcast and my YouTube channel. So if you want the free content, that's where it's going to be. Um, otherwise, if you're in my conscious creators community, I'm actually making a shift. Um, I'm working with the amazing Kyla Clapper. If you know Kyla, um, drop her name and say, say, hey. Um, she's fantastic. And she's been an amazing help as well as like Angela Kay and uh, Jen Kohler. So many phenomenal people that have given me so much advice and some guidance over the last couple of months. And so I have come to this, this space of wanting to not coach because you know so the, the, some of the, you know that i'm a certified life and business coach and i although i enjoy it i love giving people advice i love telling people what to do <laughs> no not really giving giving advice i realize that that's not like my zone of genius or at least it's only like scraping the the just like the surface of it and what i really want is to help people live their best lives ha and by having more fun, having more joy in life. So I really am looking towards creating a subscription community in which um, we talk about that. We talk about how do we get fun in our daily life? How do we basically self-care and take care of ourselves? How do we fill our own cup full of joy so we can have so much more fun, so we can give and do all the other things in life and live life to its fullest because I am a firm believer that we shouldn't be like, you know, we shouldn't be just living this mundane day to day, um, <laughs> just, you know, living for the weekend or living for our vacation time. We should be enjoying every single day of our life. And how can we do that? So be on the lookout. Um, I will be shifting my conscious creator Facebook group into that paid community. So if by, um, let's say, what time, what day is it? <laughs> Oh, so be on the lookout. So come February, I will be shifting people that aren't, you know, a part of the paid subscription into the co-op. You can totally get me over there. Otherwise, if you want to stay, then once I've created the link for payment, figured out like the cost and everything, I do believe it's going to be a low cost, like super easy peasy um, price point for, for anybody to, to hang out for month to month basis. And you can do it month to month or, and it's just, 
easy peasy lemon squeezy. So um, that is my little update for you. I'm super excited about it. I hope you're excited about it. I hope you've gotten your notifications and your subscriptions all turned on and ready to rock and roll. Uh, definitely check the link tree link in the bio and that's where all the stuff is going to be updated. And once I have the link to the new community and the community revamp, uh, I will let you guys know. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I love you lots. Cheers.